write a film that you can afford to make, which was shot in this house. We mm. just need to be able to pay the cast crew and give them food. If you give us money, we'll give you points in the movie. So whatever, well, one, you might get your money back. And two, if it does really well, you'll make a profit. And mm -hmm. scoured the internet, mass emailed everyone mm -hmm. with a link to the screen. Well, luckily we had about four deals on the table, four yeah. or five deals on the table. And we went with the one that offered us what we thought was the best deal for the mm -hmm. most money. You know, and that was like one of the biggest people we pitched to. Mm -hmm. So this, I would always say, do mm -hmm. it, you know. Making your films, uh, especially making an independent film here without the studio, as I understand, right? Without any support of the studio. I don't understand how you can do it. <laughs> because I've heard that the independent films, uh, it's almost impossible to film, and if you manage to film it, if you if you create a film, it's ready, it's done. No one wants it, and distribution is almost impossible. So, can you walk me through, like, just in general, the process of how you were making those films, how you started, how you was writing it, how you were finding uh, the crew and cast and money and you know budget? Oh, from the beginning. Okay, so uh, I would say crew and. Uh, cast and all those things I found through the previous films that I've done and, mm -hmm. and working in the industry. So there's people I plucked from different projects and said, they'll be right, they'll be right, they'll be right, they'll be right. You know, made friends over, over the years with these people. Um, write a film that you can afford to make mm -hmm. in a way. Um, I mean, we still couldn't afford our first film, but we wrote, we initially started writing one film and when we kind of cut it up, it probably would have been you know, three, four hundred thousand mm. to make. And we were like, well, you know, we tried, we went in big going, yeah, we can get mm. this. And we went to all the funding grants and, grants and all that. And they were like, you know, nothing. So we were like, okay, let's bring it back. Um, and so we wrote a, a much smaller film and something that we could achieve um, that all we needed to do was pay people's wages, really, mm -hmm. like everything else we had, which was shot in this house mm -hmm. that we sat in, just mm -hmm. hosts. Um, I have the lighting equipment, the camera equipment, all the stuff we need to shoot it. We mm -hmm. just need to be able to pay the cast crew and give them food. Um, so we then ended up, we we created a YouTube channel with you know tutorials and things like that. This was, that was not, the reason we, we kind of made it, but we realized that after a year of doing this YouTube channel, that we had a, a fan base that potentially would want to invest in, mm -hmm. in um, the movie. And so what we thought lots of people were doing crowdfunding, um, where people give money and you get like a mug or a poster or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. For or quite, a signed version of the script. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For quite an extortionate amount of money. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I felt a little bit like I've done that before, but I didn't feel comfortable. Like I was like, this mm -hmm. is not worth your money. Like, what do you get out of it? I know they're kind of like, they want to help is the main mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. But I did feel a bit like, so we kind of went about it a bit differently. We said, you know, if, if you give us money, we'll give you points in the movie. So whatever. Well, one, you might get your money back, and two, if it does really well, you'll make a profit and mm -hmm. you'll share in the profits of the movie. So basically did crowd investment rather than crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. um, that seemed to be quite an interesting way of doing it, and people seemed to like that idea. So we ended up raising 20,000, which is all the film cost. We did mm -hmm. it, it's nothing as far as films are concerned. Um, mm -hmm. And we, we filmed the movie in my house for, for mm. 20 grand. Is it hosts? Yeah. So we filmed filmed that, and then edited it here, um, did all the artwork here. And then once we were finished, we got a screener together and we started looking for uh, people to sell it to, I guess. And we, we basically scoured the internet, mass emailed everyone mm -hmm. with a link to the screen, or well, link to the trailer first, said, here's a trailer for our new movie. Mm -hmm. Um, let me know if you're interested in a screener, basically. A mm -hmm. um, bit more detail than that, but basically that's what we said. Sent it to everyone from Lionsgate mm -hmm. to, you know, Joe Bloggs thing, and then waited to see who came back. And quite a few people did come back. Mm -hmm. So we like this, we'd like to see a screener. And then off the back of that, we had 
you know, less people go back, but you know, some come back and then be like, we're interested. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of saw who was offering the best deal out mm -hmm. of that. And luckily we had about four deals on the table, four yeah. or five deals on the table. And we went with the one that offered us what we thought was the best deal for the mm -hmm. most money. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, looking back now, so like you just did, did this like carpet email, <laughs> right? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> back then. Uh, now, would you do anything different now without already having all those contacts that you kind of found on the first time? But like, is there anything, any better way right now to filmmakers who have filmed, they want to sell, uh, to find someone to, to basically to sell it to? <laughs> no. Or no? no? No. I would do it exactly the same. The thing is, Distributors aren't going to be annoyed by that. They're looking for content, and mm. if, if you've what you've got is something that they want, they'll want to know. They'll want it. They'll mm -hmm. you know there's they'll try and get it off of other distributors yeah. that are trying to get it. So you're not wasting their time. You're not annoying them. You know mm -hmm. we actually got a phone call back from Lionsgate saying that they really loved the, mm -hmm. the movie. They said mm -hmm. it's a bit small for them, mm -hmm. um, but to keep in contact with them with our future movies. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So and they actually took the time to ring us from LA at the yeah. time we were like, oh my God, nice. Lionsgate's on the phone. <laughs> you know, and that was like one of the biggest people we pitched to. Mm -hmm. So this, I would always say, do mm -hmm. it. You know, you can't, you're only going to fail mm -hmm. if you don't do it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But you could succeed if yeah. you do it. All right. Um, yeah. So to sum up, write a script that is not expensive to film. Shoot with kind of friends and people you worked before. <laughs> uh, find the shit in the location that you can afford ideally at home <laughs> do a good job probably it's one of the things that <laughs> you make a good film and then just send it send the emails to like a lot of people who might want to buy it and then uh, hope for the best 